Hello, this is Hello Gabius, and welcome back to my channel. Continuing on with my nail video series, I want to show you the dipping nail system I purchased. I threw away the boxing. I had made a video and I didn't know that it didn't record. I had already thrown everything away. So let me show you what I got. Basically, this is everything that came in the kit. Luckily, I did kept the instructions. But okay, so let's look at the nail polishes. It comes with a base. And on a previous video, I have spoken to you about what a base is. Then an activator, and uh, it's only for dip powder. And then we have a top coat. And then number four, a brush saver. So let's just say this is not crucial to your system, but these three are your base, your activator, and your top coat. And along with everything else, I am writing and writing and taking notes. Okay, so it comes with these four things here, nail polishes. Then it comes with the color. And look at how cute, obviously full size or salon size dipping powders are bigger. These are just tiny, look at, tiny, tiny, tiny pots here. Let me show you what these are. So these are the color. I have not used these guys. This is poly gel, what I have on. It's not dipping powder color. And they just have the different names here in the bottom. You can actually store these this way if you want because it's powder and as long as you close them tight, that's good. And you can see what color is what if you want or store them this way, you can see the color this way. It's up to you. But I know I did open one and I wanted to show you Ah, okay. It's powder. Powder, powder. Powder is powder. It's just regular powder. Just like you see on the dipping systems on videos or when you go to your personal nail salon. It's, you know, that's, it's powder. You can even use these when you're doing a pedicure, putting nail color. You can do dip on your toenails as well. So this has like a little diamond glitters on it. This is like a cream color. It has a little bit of glitter. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So this just pretty much replaces you using a nail polish or a poly uh, color pot polish. This is just another type of coloring your nails. Ooh, this is like a peachy. Let me see, do I have a pink? I should have, this looks like pink, like a pink pearl. Okay. Look at this, so pretty. Also, what I've learned from watching these videos is when you open it up, just like you see these hard little crusties, put like a cuticle stick or something to uh, mix it in there well. There's no clumps on there, because then you're gonna get that on your nail. And now you're going to have to struggle with filing it off. Okay, let's open one more. Let's do Blue Vista. Ooh. See, on the lid it looks purplish. Not sure if you can see that. And then on the actual powder itself, it looks blue. That's weird. And when I get more familiar with dipping, I don't mind that they're tiny right now. Um, I will then get just, you know, full size, especially when I know the colors I like, because I'm not sure if I'm gonna like all of these colors. So, okay. So these are the, the dipping powders. It also came with this little tray and with this little lid. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your nail here and let's say that there's the powder here and then it just helps you with preserving and not wasting so much powder. But when you're doing it, you have your nail. You, you could maybe even do this. I got a fake nail 
from one of the sets I purchased and on one some of the videos I saw she used this as a little scoop you know to put some you know on your nail so I said okay this definitely is not gonna fit me I'll never use it I will use it as a little scoop and that's why I keep it here now cool also if you have a nail color that you're currently using a, a dipping powder you can also keep it here because it has a lid so you won't use it you're not gonna waste your color if you have it here but also it's good to pour it back into your little pot here so there's a lot of advantages to this and I totally love it that is it for the dipping nail system you have your nail polishes your dipping color and then just something even if you didn't have this it doesn't matter because the two main things are this are these two here now as I'm taking my notes I'm filling up this uh, notebook with all these notes I have some notes here to also help me how do I apply this and as you can see I'm really getting into it can you see what this is what is this this is a nail polish bottle, come on. And what is this? No, this is not Sasquatch hands. This is my hands. But anyways, so it says, uh, the first thing would be to remove shine from your natural nail, then uh, remove dust from your nails with a brush. So then you would get a brush and then you, you dust it off. Actually, I'm surprised that this kit didn't come with a brush because that is definitely crucial when you are going to you dip and then you have to wipe off the excess notice that this does not come with a uv led light because you don't need it in a dipping system that was a surprise for me you do need a brush so i'm surprised that they didn't include a brush because that one is really really needed a brush in a dipping system. now the notes that i took was from a video that i'm assuming had a lot more steps because the first thing i wrote down here says bond cleans nail gently paint all nails can do all at the same time so here the first one is base now the bond i'm assuming they're talking about a primer because this is what's going to help the product stick to the nail i can start with this nail primer as what this says here the bond then you go to the base so now you're going to the first little bottle do this one at a time do one nail at a time all over the nail this is the glue that sticks powder to your nail so again, if the primer also helps stick powders to the nail, that's where I'm getting confused. So maybe just never mind what's not on this kit, just use this as it says in this instruction. So use the base, then you're gonna use your powder. And it says to use a clear one. So like I said, this instructions were not on this set in particular. But here she used a clear uh, powder. It says that this is going to help create a smoother color and more pigment to your color if you use a clear base. So you're going to use your base and completely saturate the nail. Then you're going to use your powder. Let's say I use this little guy. You're going to dip it, right? Dip the powder, let it saturate before brushing off excess from your finger. So you're going to let it dry. Also, you are going to, when you're gonna dip it, according to the video, you're gonna to have to make sure that it gets like all the way up to your cuticle and even past that. That's why when you're using something like this, it's good because you're going to actually like really brush on the product everywhere. You're going to make sure that it's everywhere. So that's also a benefit to having this little tray here. And then again you're gonna you you're gonna then brush off the excess then you're gonna use your base again and you're gonna do a second coat right second coat of this then you are going to file your nail so let's say that you're done remember there's no UV LED lighting to cure the dipping powder the base does it for you you dip it you then brush off the excess you're done you have to wait for it to dry you don't need to cure it per se now I also have some reminders here on my notes and I put, it says remember, base is a glue. Do one finger at a time, don't do all fingers, then dip. So that's also an important step because you wanna do them all at the same time as you probably will on a regular nail polish. This one says to do it one at a time. Take your time, make sure that you are dipping it right all the way through, passing your cuticle. Let it dry, you brush off the excess, 
You put base on again, do like a second coat again. Make sure the powder goes all over passing your cuticle. Letting it dry, you brush off the excess and then you're done. I also put down, you can smooth out bumps before dipping for a second coat to avoid larger bumps, use soft file. And it says, do not file glitter colors, use base and clear products to file down. Now, as I was telling you, one of these little pots had like little clumps. I don't remember which one it was. And I had also told you that on the videos I saw, they used like a nail file or something to scrape around, like mix it really well, break down all the ones that are clumped together. So let's say that even though you did that, you still had some clumps in here. According to my notes, you can file down after your first dip, file it down, cool, all right? Then you put your base again and then go for your second coat. That's what my notes say. So you won't be left with all these ridges and clumps and whatnot. So th those are the tips that I have. Okay, then powder color, dip color for a second time. Brush off excess with a brush after product has saturated. Okay, then you're gonna file. So you're done with your color, you're closing these up. Close them as soon as you're finished using them so you won't prevent knocking things over. And I have knocked things over. So make sure you do that. You're always closing up your products, especially this guy here, your base, because if you don't close it, you forget to close it, you just put the lid on, you think it's closed. Next time you want to use it, it's no good anymore. It's all dried out. Okay, so we're filing our nails. It's done. We get to smooth it, shape it. You're tough dusting off excess. Now you're gonna apply the activator. Now we're barely going to the second step. And this is going to seal the color. You let it dry for 30 seconds to continue to smooth. Use buffer file, not soft file. So you use your activator to seal everything and now it's solid. It's still bumpy, let's say. You can still have a chance to file your nails down, but with a smoother file, not with the force or with a fine grit file, okay? Then you're going to clean your nail, use prop, use, you can actually use a paper with alcohol or just a paper towel, so it doesn't have to be a wet paper towel. Do not use soap if you wash your hands, and that was one of the mistakes I did. I went to a nail salon, they did dip powder on me. He says, okay, you can go ahead and rinse, your hands, I'm thinking I'm going to the sink to wash my hands, right? Because your hands are sticky. If you've ever had dipping or whatever done, your hands are a mess and they're full, you know, they're full of product and they're sticky. So I got the soap and I washed and I'm like, cool, I'm ready for my cuticle oil. Well, he then applied another uh, polish on it and it didn't stick and I didn't understand why. And he says, oh, did you use soap when you wash your hands? And he says, no, don't use soap. And I'm thinking, well, you should have said, don't use soap, just water. Anyways, here it says, um, do not use soap if you wash your hands. Big, big, big hint there. Okay, then it says activator. Use again and then top coat it right away. So then as part of the last steps, you're going to use your activator, and as soon as you finish brushing off the activator, then you're gonna go right to your top coat right away. Remember, doing one nail at a time. Let it dry, and then you're done. Then you can then apply the cuticle oil, and voila, you're done with your color. So, I need to read the instructions on, what do I use this little bottle for? It's a step four brush saver. And let me see if there's anything here on the instructions. There's nothing here, so I do want to read off some of the, the tips and tricks that they're um, stating here as part of the instructions. Now it does say, dip at a 45 degree angle and pull straight back out. Do not push the nail against the powder. Then you're going to apply the top coat quickly, then stroke and let your first coat air dry before dipping a second coat. Ensure all the essentials are cleaned up properly and the caps are tightened well after use. It is hard to open an essential bottle. Please soak it in hot water for 10 minutes and then try again. So, okay, they have a tip there for you, but just as regular practice, close up your products, tightly tighten your products, 
you know, especially your bottles, like your base, you're gonna use this a lot, your activator, and you don't have to really worry about that. As far as the dipping, I also saw on the videos that, you know, if you dip at a, at a 45 degree angle, you're not pushing your product, the powder, because that is also gonna carry weight and push it, your, your product, and then that's where you get all the clumps and stuff like that, so. That's why I think that using this is a lot better. You're not pushing anything. You're just sprinkling it on. That's why I like this here. And so there is no instructions on what I can use this guy for. Maybe I can watch another video or just look it up on the internet to see how do I use this brush saver. I'm curious to see, is it just like alcohol? I mean, it looks pretty dry. It doesn't smell like anything. I'm wondering if it's like like an like diluted alcohol. I'm not sure. But um, more to come on this. And this is a bottle that's included in this dipping powder kit. So that concludes this video on this dipping powder system I purchased. I'm so excited. I can't wait to try it. I want to try out some.